Welcome to my Scaling Networks Cisco course. Here we're looking at lab 2315, which will be configuring PVST. All right, so I went ahead and I already opened it. So first thing is, let's go ahead and enable the user ports on switch one, two, and three, set them to access mode. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be turning on ports six, 18, and 11 for their respective switches. 6, 18, and 11. So switch one. Again, it's CLI, configure terminal. We're looking at interface FA0 slash six. We wanna change this to switch port. We wanna have it set to access mode, no shutdown. Next will be 11. Exact mode, global configuration. Go to int fa0 11. Switch port mode access. Let's go ahead and turn it on, no shut. All right, lastly, Switch to, we're gonna be doing port 18. Get to our exec mode, get to our global configuration mode, get to FA 0 slash 18. Switch port mode access, no shut. Okay. This guy is done. Moving on to step two. Let's get on to switch one. If we're at a config if, we actually wanna back out one, we wanna just be in config mode. We wanna set up our VLANs. We can do this one of several ways. Since we're gonna be setting up VLANs In. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and VLAN ninety nine on all of them. It makes the most sense to do it in Notepad. That way we can create them a little simpler. Again, make sure you're at the global configuration mode and paste the VLAN that you have in. Switch three. All right, so that has created all of our VLANs that we needed. Now let's go ahead and We've done that. Let's go ahead and assign VLANs to our switch ports, starting with switch one. Go back to our global configuration, interface FA06. So we want switch port access. We're gonna be putting it on VLAN 30. So we assigned that interface to that switch port. Switch three, we're gonna be going to interface FA0 slash 11, switch port, ac access, VLAN. We're setting this one to 10. And lastly, switch two. Interface FA0 slash 18. We are doing switch port access VLAN 20. So we've done that guy. So we're gonna do a show VLAN brief on all of our switches. 
Let's see, land. Eesh. The do will allow you to do the command at any level. I don't know why I hit paste. That will show you the ports, the VLANs, all that good details. All right, here, VLAN 20, then port 18. VLAN 10 is using FA011, and that is good. So that right there is good. Moving on to step five. So we're going to be doing ports 0, 1 through 4 on all the switches. We're going to be doing the same thing on them. So interface range FA 0 slash 1 through 4. Switch port mode trunk. Which port? We're setting the native VLAN to 99. And we're doing this on all of our switches. All right. And all I'm doing is pasting in what we typed. We may get a few inconsistencies. That's because those are VLAN 99 now. Not all of them are using the same information. Here we go, ins ins inconsistent local VLAN. Yeah, we know that. That's because we're changing everything to use a different VLAN. And we did it on all of them. We're gonna give it a minute to let it converge. All right, moving on. All right, let's go ahead and configure the management on each of them. We're going to be doing interface VLAN 99. We are giving it an IP address of 172.31. 99.1 subnet mask slash 24 again we're doing these networks we're just assigning the first usable here they are right here for our appropriate VLANs so these are our networks these are our VLANs and our IP addresses for that VLAN Moving on to switch two, int VLAN 99, IP address 172.31.99.2 with the appropriate sub or the appropriate subnet mask. Moving on to switch three, interface VLAN 99. We're doing an IP address. 172.31.99.3 again slash 24 as our subnet and there we go so we've done that we've done that now we're moving on to part two okay so part two we want to use spanning tree protocol so spanning hyphen tree mode pvst we're going to be enabling that on all of the switches we're going to be issuing this command at our global config mode so just in config we're going to do that for all of the switches now remember if you're at a sub interface or at a sub command exit back out until you're just at config that way we can make sure you're just at our global configuration mode where we need to issue this command. All right, that guy right there is done. 
now we're going to go ahead and go on to setting up our PVST Plus for load balancing. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up the appropriate switches so that switch one will have spanning tree VLAN 1, 10, 30, 50, 70. They will be our root primaries. 1, 10, 30, 50, 70. 1, 10, 30, 50, 70. All right, let's go over to switch three. Spanning tree. VLAN. We're doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 99. They're going to be our root bridge. Our root primary, sorry. They're going to be our root bridge, but the command is root primary. All right, so now we have two primaries. Switch one using 1, 10, 30, 50, 70. Switch three for 20, 40, 60, 80, 99. Now let's go ahead and make switch two. Spanning tree VLAN. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99, our root secondary. So that way, switch two will be our root secondary. If switch one goes down for the root bridge for VLANs 1, 10, 30, 50, 70. Also, it's going to be the secondary if switch three goes down for VLANs 20, 40, 60, 80, 99. So this guy is done. Verify by doing a show spanning tree. Do show spanning tree. And for what we're doing, that is right. Root ID, root bridge what ports they're associated with for VLAN 40, 30, 20, and 10. 10, this is the root bridge. For 20, it shows you the MAC address. Root ID. For VLAN 30, same thing. This bridge is the root. Under root ID, notice here for VLAN 20, underneath the root ID, underneath priority and address, there is a cost, not a, this is the root bridge. That's how we know that, do show VLAN 20 is not appropriate on switch one for it being a root primary. Because again, sorry, root ID, priority, address, this is the root. Where on switch one, it wasn't showing this one as the root. All right, so we've done that guy. All right, last we're going to configure both port fast and BPDU guard on all of our switches. So let's hop over to switch one. We're going to be doing interface FA06. We're going to be doing spanning tree port fast. Spanning tree BP U guard. And we're going to enable it. Lastly, we're going to do Banning tree and a question mark to see what else we get. We have BPDU guard, we have guard, we have link type, we have port fast, and we have VLAN. So we did port fast and BPDU guard. 
And we're going to do the same thing on all of them. Uh, for switch 3, we're looking at FA 0 slash 11. Spanning tree. Port fast. Good thing that port 11 is not in a trunking state, otherwise it would not be applied. Spanning tree, BPU guard, enable. And lastly is going to be switch 2. Interface FA0 slash 18. Spanning tree, port fast. Spanning tree, BPU guard, enable. And that's everything for this lab. Let's go and check our results. Everything looks good. If you have any questions, please let me know.